Good morning, Kindle Kids, and welcome to your Wednesday, October 11th. And today is National Fossil Day. Those fossils are, you know, pretty cool. Honestly, I had a fossil collection as a kid, and I'll tell you, it's really neat. One cool thing to think about is that uh, basically the leftovers of everything in the past are in our fossil record. It's how we understand that the Earth has been here much, much longer uh, than people first realized. The idea of deep time came from fossils, and that's really cool. But really fun thing to point out, too, is that everything, I mean, everything we know about dinosaurs is based off of basically fossils here. Uh, so we don't know what color they were. We don't know for sure exactly what they look like. But we base that off of a combination of work from scientists and artists or artist scientists, that combination. Uh, and that's cool to point out that you could literally have an art career, you know, my specialty here, in, uh, you know, drawing what fossils really would have looked like as the actual animals they represent or plants. So fossils are actually created when you have uh, some sort of uh, organic material that dies, and then it basically has to be somewhere where sediment is going to cover relatively quickly before it decomposes too much. Uh, and then over time, the bones or the hard tissues uh, get replaced with uh, minerals, and that turns into stone, and that is a fossil. So a fossil is like stone replacement of usually bone, uh, and that's really pretty cool. And if you're wondering, like, oh, why can't I find cool fossils around here? Well, kind of you can. Uh, probably the easiest place to go is the Great Lakes. We've got Lake Ontario right here. A uh, huge ice sheet in the past came down and basically carved uh, out our Great Lakes. And on top of that, uh, they used to be, because of uh, some of this movement, uh, much more saltwater based. We used to actually think they might have been much more like oceans. We've got lots of evidence of that, whether it be nautilusks that we can find in the Great Lakes, the fossils of them, uh, troglodytes, which are really cool. They're like kind of like ancient horseshoe crabs. Uh, or really cool sea anemones that you'd find there. And there's also huge salt deposits. So, I mean, we got a ton of really good evidence that our Great Lakes were much more like oceans in the past. My personal favorite, though, is the Petoskey Stone, which is fossilized coral. We used to have coral in the Great Lakes. Isn't that really cool? Uh, it gets tumbled around over time and kind of smoothed out. And this is what it looks like when you find it. But the really cool thing is if you spend your time and polish it, it looks much more like a tortoise shell. And it's really beautiful. I actually used to collect these as a kid, especially in Lake Michigan, uh, and would bring them home, polish them myself, and give them away to friends as a, a gift. And I think that was a really cool thing. So here's a little guide here in case you're wondering about Petoskey Stone. Stones, uh, organ pipe coral, honeycomb coral, uh, uh, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but crinoids, cr crinoids, crinoids uh, are ones that you can definitely find just by looking around on Lake Ontario right here. I've seen them on a really regular basis. They're kind of the weird speckled fossils you'll find in some of the rocks there. So just a cool thing. Go find some fossils. Go looking around, especially if you go by the lake where more of the, the deep earth is exposed and things can wash up. It's a really cool thing to go check out. So be a fossil explorer. Check that stuff out. And, and I mean, that's really cool, isn't it? Anyways, let's find the flag in the room and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, you crazy kids, let's talk a little about food for the day. We happen to have on our menu a tuna sandwich or popcorn chicken with roll, vegetarian beans, corn, applesauce, and milk. What's going on with that weather outside? Well, it's going to be cool. We're definitely getting the real feel of fall now. Highs only in the upper to mid-50s throughout the week. We've got sunshine for today, tomorrow, and Friday, but we're looking at some more rain coming in right in time for the weekend. So as soon as you get that day off, it's going to be rainy. Aren't you really happy about that? But at least that beautiful fall weather is around. The colors are out, so get out there and enjoy because you only get so many days like these kids. All right, really quickly, I want to do that. Kendall Canines want to point out that Maddie brought in some pictures of her awesome cats, Bitsy and Luna, and her two bunny rabbits, Caramel and Minnie. Uh, they're all really cool. Check out an entire black and white collection here of animals. I feel like we've got, you know, animals pretending to be Dalmatians or something like that. Uh, but they're really awesome. We're going to say plus 10,000 points because of the pure quantity of black and white animals. Uh, and then let's do our mission statement here. The mission of the Kendall Central School District to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. And if you happen to find a uh, fossil, you know, bring it over into my room. I want to check it out. And stay colorful, Kendall.